Hey guys, I hope you're all having a wonderful Mandela Effect evening. I wanted to bring this one to your attention. A uh, special shout out goes to um, Vault Team 6 for helping me find this one. Uh, Scott Harrison is the one who did the actual video. Uh, 26 thumbs up on this one. The first SMS text message ever sent out. Do you remember what year and what it actually said? Because in this reality, it was December 3rd, 1992, 25 years ago, on December, this past December 3rd, that text, the first text message that went out said, Merry Christmas. I could have sworn it said something like, Hello World, right? So this could be a Mandela. Uh, I, I'm pretty positive it was Hello World. Um, yeah, some people say it was the mid-90s. Yeah, uh... Let's see, it says Vault Team 6, wow, the first text message wasn't Hello World, what? Text messaging wasn't that early. Yeah, so 1992, it would have been probably like 95, maybe. Um, but again, I mean, this reality is slightly different, okay? Uh, I'll play part of his video for you guys. It was about a year after I bought this phone that you could actually the networks introduced the ability to send it and supported it the sending of text messages text messages are 25 now, years old according to the history in this world in 1992 the first ever text message was sent and it said merry christmas now that's different because in my world the first ever text message sent was the same as the first ever email sent uh, and the first ever instant message ever sent it was hello world that was the tradition back on sagittarius and yeah so uh you have to watch his video okay I, I i will leave the link to the original video in the description but i figured i would cover a little bit more ground and um sort of read this article here on it so this is the first test message 25 years ago this is by engadget and it says be prepared to feel ancient the first text message is 25 years old Engineer Neil Papworth sent the first SMS on December 3rd, 1992, when he wrote Merry Christmas on a computer and sent it to the cell phone of, of Vodafone director Richard Jarvis. Uh, it was a modest start, but it ultimately changed technology and even social norms. Uh, let's see. So, um, overcoming, basically, let me just to sum this up, overcoming the cellular networks was an issue back then. Uh, I can remember uh, in the early 90s, we used to get telemarketers calling us to see if we wanted to invest in some of these cell phone markets. Uh, that's kind of what I remember in the early 90s. Um, so messaging. Okay, um, okay. Here's, here's something interesting. By June 2017, there were 781 billion messages passing around the country. Messaging was suddenly easy and SMS was ready and waiting to take advantage of the newfound freedom. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's influenced communication. Uh, now they've got, you know, ordering pizza and music recommendations. Uh, there's all kinds of things the SMS has. Uh, but, but to me, you still don't get that emotion that you get with face-to-face -face contact. Let's talk about the history of Hello World here, because I, I don't think that Scott Harrison was able to cover this in his video. But, um, a lot of developers use the Hello World as a uh, in the coding process to ensure that the uh, language is operating efficiently that the, that that it computes you know you don't want a does not compute uh, or a syntax error uh, so typically um, when coders learn this um, with little to no experience they start off with the hello world typically uh, but yeah I believe this is a Mandela because a lot of people seem to remember hello world but I figured I would go ahead and do the video. Okay, for you guys, and just to bring some light to it. But as I said, please check out Scott Harrison's video. He's got a little bit more uh, residue and stuff like that. Okay, so thanks, guys. Have a great Mandelic night, and please feel free to join us tonight for the one of the best discussions 
we ever have. We have changing matrix on tonight. So God bless, guys. We'll see you.